Hello everyone, it's Angie here at Beads and Plenty More. Today I thought I'd show you this bracelet done with um, basically a diamond shape here. So I've got four millimeter semi-precious beads. I've got a three millimeter bead here. These are size 10 seed beads, and then I've got a magnetic clasp. And I'm working with six pound fire line. So I'm gonna start off with just threading up my first bit here. So I'm threading the seed bead uh, one of the three millimeter beads and seed bead. So just alternating there. And I'm gonna thread the clasp on. I'm gonna pull it down. I've got about a meter and a half of fire line here. This should be enough to do the whole bracelet. And we'll just tie it into a knot. So when I tie a knot, I like to leave the tail end long enough that I can thread a needle on it later and weave it in. And that's a good way to reinforce your clasp because um, you've got this extra thread here that you can just run through the clasp beads a few extra times. So everything's tied into a circle there. And I need to move my needle up to that tip bead. So the bead that's directly across from my clasp. So I'm just gonna come back through a few of the beads here. So I'm gonna go through this, the, um, I guess it was the second of the um, seed beads that I put on. It's now directly across from the clasp. And then I'm ready to start adding the beads that make up my large diamond. So I'm gonna add a seed bead, one of these guys, the four millimeter beads. I'm actually going to add Three seed beads now. Another one of these guys. So I'm doing this until I have four of the the four millimeter beads on. So almost there. And when I get the fourth one on, I'm just going to add one more seed bead. All right, so got it all on there now. Pull it all down. And then I'm gonna go back through. So I'm creating a circle of my beads. So when you think about where you're coming through this seed bead, you're coming through from the side that the thread's not coming out of to the side that the thread's coming out of. And it creates a circle in your beads. So there's my circle. And now we're gonna make this into a diamond. So I'm gonna take it I'm gonna come through the first seed bead I come to and the first of the, the four millimeter beads. And now I am gonna skip the seed beads. Just get that one out of the way. And I'm just gonna go through the four millimeter beads. As this snags on the corner of the... So I want to keep everything nice and tight. You can see that loosened up a bit. So I'll go through the last one here. I'm managing to catch almost everything as I pull through here. All right, so there I've got my diamond shape. I'm gonna continue around and I wanna go until I'm through to the tip bead of the seed beads here. So again, directly across from where the clasp is um, right, so that I'm ready to add on. So I'm going through these guys one more time. So the four millimeter guys, I'm gonna go through the two that are on the one side. And then I'm gonna come through the seed beads to get through that top one. So 
So let's make sure everything's nice and tight. Um, sometimes you have to wiggle them a little bit to get them to sit right. There we go. Now we're just ready to add the in-between beads, so in between the diamond. So this is where these three millimeter ones come in. So I'm adding a three millimeter, a seed bead, and a three millimeter. Coming back through the, the point bead. And again, to add, I'm gonna to have to come up to this point one. So I need to come through the side bead and the tip one. So those are the two shapes that you create in this pattern. Um, I'm gonna keep working away at it until I get it to the other end. And then I'll just match up my clasp side with the other side. So I'll show you a picture when it's done. Have a great day.